coming. Um, actually, we're waiting on um, another couple of people. I wonder whether if you could get a, um, a cushion or a rolled up towel or blanket to sit on and um, a mat or a towel on the floor, whatever feels good. Why don't you sit on the floor, just have a wee, I tend to really round my hips all the time, so I have to sit up in something so that my hips can be, I can be sitting right up in my sit bones. Crossing your legs anyway, or they can be out in front of you, or you can sometimes kneel if that feels more comfortable. Just get in a good position so that we can, we can start off by breathing. So why don't you just sit down, close your eyes. Just close your eyes and thank yourself for having arrived and just check in with yourself. And just close your eyes and just get comfortable. And just check in with your breathing. Just becoming aware of where you can feel your breath going in. Might be at your nose, might be at your top lip. And just see where you can feel it coming out. Again, that might be at your top lip, might be at your tummy. Not trying to change it, just being aware. It's happening. Just feeling where you're on the ground, on the earth, being held by gravity. Feel where your hands are meeting your legs. Just checking in. Coming away with any tension, right in your neck and shoulders, your hips. Checking in to see if you can feel anything, breathing into any tension you can feel. So we're going to take three big deep breaths together before we open our eyes. So just breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth and a big sigh. In through your nose and out through your mouth and a big sigh. In through your nose and out. And you can open your eyes. Welcome everyone. It's nice to see you all. I can just see a few tiny pictures of you. So what we're going to do, we've only got half an hour, so what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on our, our upper bodies because, uh, excuse me every minute, I've got some help here and it's very distracting. <laughs> There's my feet go. Sorry about that. So we're just going to focus on, because we don't have a lot of time, we're just going to focus on our upper body and get some movement into our spine. Now, but because we're sitting a lot, just saying we're all really changed, we just want to do some work and try to open up our shoulders and just try to connect with our breath a bit. So if we start off by, we take one hand to the side, put one hand on the floor and one hand on your shoulder. And just press into that hand. And we'll just bring some movement to our space, just going from side to side. Taking your hand to your shoulder, hand to the floor. And just moving gently from side to side. So the elbow can come up a wee bit as we get into the rhythm of it. My floor's creaking, it's not my bones, honestly. Side to side. 
Okay. Now on the next one, just hold your hand there. And I want you to turn around and look at your elbow. And just feel that nice stretch in your shoulder. You can lift that arm up a little bit further, if that feels good. And then bring your head back to the centre and we'll do the same on the other side. So just gently turning your head round, pressing into that hand and lifting your shoulder up and just see how that feels. Okay, coming back to the centre. Now we'll just gently roll our shoulders back. And I want you to imagine this is in four parts. So it's in, up, and in as we breathe in, and then down and forward. So breathing in, taking it up and back, and breathing out, taking it down and forward. And I can certainly hear the people now. In, and back and forward. Okay. Oh, I can feel lots of so take one hand again to that shoulder and we're going to start trying to really get into the shoulder joint at the back. So if you take, just do tiny wee circles back to start with, just very, very small. And being aware of trying to keep your lower body steady, your sit on your sit bone, and move your legs at any time, just make sure you're comfortable. So just tiny wee circles back. Now turning your head to the side, I want you to dip your neck into your chest and then you can start to make those circles bigger. And you start to feel that shoulder sliding down the back of your ribs. And I'll definitely get lots of creaks again there. Tying that in with your breath, so breathing in as you take it up and out as it comes down. In, Now just letting your, your hands come down, but let's take your neck forward and see if you can feel a nice stretch in the back of your neck, so your chin to your chest at the front, and just a nice stretch. So just take a couple of breaths there, and let your head hang. Okay, breathing in and coming up, and we'll do the same on the other side. So hand, yeah, just tiny wee circles. And then just turning your head to the side, letting your neck go down, and bigger circles, tying that in with your breath. So breathing in. And breathing out. And just feel that working right into your shoulder joint. Lifting your head, I want you to imagine that you're hugging a tree. So you're coming forward, hugging a tree, and then tip your pelvis forward and open it up. So you're coming forward and hugging a tree. And then open it up. And then just once more, hugging that tree. Okay, just check in, 35, good. Great. Okay, right, I want you to take one hand and put it on the top of your head. Your middle finger touching your ear, if that's possible, and just let your hand rest. Feel how your hand is resting on your head here. And I want you to breathe in, and as you breathe out, just gently. Pull your head half an inch. Just see how that feels. 
and the hand that's on your knee, I want you to take that out. And breathe and then turn your hand up. Breathe it out, turning it down. Hand up. Breathe out, turn it back. Breathe it in, hand up. Breathe it out to your back. Breathe it in. And just leave it turned up and feel that nice stretch across the front of your chest and your shoulders. And if it's too much for your head, you can bring it back up again. Okay, you can take your hands down. Did you see that feels looser on that side? Give it a little shake out. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So other hand. Touching your ears, hand out, you can just take that over to the side a little. You can let your chin come forward a bit. Hand up, just breathing in, and out, hand down. Breathing in and up. Head and up, and then down. And then just leave that up there, facing the ceiling, just see how that feels. Okay, just take them down. And just give a nice couple of slow shoulder rolls there. Take your hands out. Hands out and take your hands up. Just have a look at your hands there. It's a nice wee flat bend. Open them out, bring them down, round, and we'll just do that again. So we'll breathe and then take your hands up. And then Okay. Now, so that's us with quite a lot of movement, side to side, backwards and forwards. We're just going to do a wee gentle twist. So I want to start it dynamically. So you can just take one hand there and just try to hold the bottom of your body steady and your chest open. Just swinging from knee to knee. And that's giving you a wee bit of rotation. Now, when you get to the next one, just stay there. You can take your hand behind you and take a nice big, big deep breath in and straighten up through your spine. And you can turn your head. That feels good and feel that nice wee twist. You're keeping both hips on the floor or on your cushion. And then do the same on the other side. Okay. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to come to the floor because what my intention was, we do some upper body work, then come to the floor, do a few exercises, and then we'll do quite a, a long maybe every eight to 10 minutes kind of relaxation and body scan. So if you come on to all fours, then we're going to do some pat cow. And if there's any yoga pose at all that it's really good to do is cat cow. So you can do a version of this standing or seated, so anybody can do it. And it's all about trying to get movement into your spine. So it's all about moving from the spine, up the way and then down the way. So I'll try and show you. I'll show you side on first. So your hands are out flat out in front of you. Your fingers are spread. You, uh, your knees are below your hips. And all movement. I'll show you one first. When you're breathing in, you're tucking your pelvis. Sorry, that's breathing out. That's cat. And your head's last. 
and then spread it in, starting the movement from the bottom of your spine, dipping your tummy to the floor and your chest and your head through your arms last. Breathing out, you tuck it down, move in, and your head comes down last, your head hangs. So breathing in. Coming up and breathing out. Taking that down. So if you just do three of those each way in your own time, so remember all the movements start from the bottom of your spine and just feeling that nice movement through the whole of your spine. And just checking in. Feeling your knees on the floor and your hands straight. And whenever you've completed that, what I want you to do is come into child's pose. Now, child's pose is where you put your toes together. Sorry, this might be hard to see. Your toes together, your knees apart, and you come into any position that's comfortable. It might be on stacked fifth. It may be with your hands out in front or behind, whatever feels good. And you can even put a cushion between your bottom and your legs, whatever feels good, and just this is a really comforting pose, so you just rest there and take a nice couple of breaths and just check in with yourself. And this is a really good one where you can catch your breath. Now coming back onto all fours. I should really have done this before the cat cow, but I'm just not letting on I've made a mistake. When you're in your all fours position, another good thing, things to check out are that your elbow, that this wee crease at your elbow is facing out the way. So you might have to outwardly rotate the top of your arms. That's to give you a really good foundation. Same on both sides, just checking that out that your knees are below your hips. And what we'll do here is, what is good to do sometimes before doing the cat cow is just to tip your pelvis backwards and forwards, just to get the feel of loosening up your lower back. And just to get a sense of where your lower back is. Because often, as I say, my pelvis is often really tucked that way. And it's just loosening that up. And then you might want to do some circles. Spin in the pot one way. And if that is sore on your knees or your, um, your wrist, you can put some padding underneath. You might even want to fold up your mat or a towel or a blanket underneath and that really helps deal with any soreness there. So, what would be good to do is take one leg out behind you and just face on your toes. And that's loosening up your toes. And then coming back in, taking the other leg out. And with both hands flat on the floor, just see if you can lift that leg up. And then take it down. Breathe and then take it up. And out as you take it down. And one more and we'll just change sides. Okay, take that back in. And then other side. Breathe and then take it up. And breathe now and take it up. 
and down. And you're trying not to tilt your pelvis onto the, the knee that's on the floor. You're trying to keep that even so that your pelvis is parallel to the floor. And one more. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is come onto our backs. So I want you to come onto your back and we'll do some exercises here. And then what we'll do is we'll get ready for relaxation. So if you lie on your back, now if you put your feet flat on the floor, your knees are bent, your feet are about hip width apart. And what I want you to do is cross one leg over the other and just let that hip get a nice stretch. So you might want to touch your knee and just give that a pulse. You might want to stand on tiptoe with the, the foot that's on the floor. Or you might want to lift it up, just whatever feels good. And just feel that nice stretch in your hip joint. Sometimes it's nice just to give it a wee gentle stretch. I'm a bit sore from trying to do some of those Joe Wicks things that everybody's been suggesting. So I'm actually in agony today, but never mind. And then changing sides. And just pulsing that air or lifting up your heel and feeling that nice stretch in your hip. Okay, and we've done a lot of work in our back, so why don't we try and take your knees into your chest and just doing small circles in the floor. And if you don't feel comfortable taking them in, you can just roll your pelvis backwards and forwards on the floor. Just loosening off your lower back. Let's see how that feels. And then taking your knees to one side, if that feels good, they can be far away from your body or they can be um, further up. You can also put a cushion underneath if that feels good. And just giving your body a nice wee twist. So turn your head to the other side. Feel that nice stretch. Your hands can be anywhere you want. And then doing the same on the other side. So let your knees go to the other side. And your head, whatever you want. And basically we are the other side, whatever feels good. Okay, I'll just do a time check now. Okay, well, what we'll do now is we'll move into our relaxation pose. So that's whatever feels good for you. It might be sitting in a chair, it might be lying down with your feet in the floor, flat on the floor, or your feet straight out. Your hands can be at your side, they can be on your lap, whatever feels good. And I want you to Make sure you're warm enough. You might want to pull something over you to cover you up. Make sure that you're warm enough. And we're just going to do a relaxation and body scan. So I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes and just check in with yourself and see how you're feeling. Check in with your breath. Just see whether that's where it's going in and where it's going out. You can see whether it's deep or shallow. And just feeling the back of your body in the mat. Feeling where your head meets the lap and your shoulders, the backs of your legs, the 
parts of your view. Breathing into the soles of your feet, the sole of your right foot, your right big toe, right second toe, right third toe, right fourth toe, and right baby toe. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in any tension in your right Coming away with your right ankle, your right calf and shin, your right knee, your thigh and hip, the whole of your right leg, sinking down into the floor and relaxing as you breathe out. Breathing into your left foot, the sole of your left foot arch of your left foot, your left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe and baby toe. Becoming aware of your left ankle, all the little muscles in your ankle, your shin and calf and knee. Becoming aware of the back of your left thigh sinking into the mat whole of both legs, relaxing and releasing as you breathe out. Breathing into your lower back, relaxing and releasing your lower back into the floor. You've worked your back really hard, just relax all the little muscles up and down your spine and in your shoulders. As you breathe out, keep breathing in and breathing out, becoming aware of your shoulders opening and sinking down into the mat, becoming aware of where your right arm meets your right shoulder, breathing into the joint and let all the muscles relax, breathing in down your right arm your elbow and forearm, the palm of your right hand, the back of your right hand, your right thumb, forefinger, middle finger, ring finger and pinky, the whole of your right arm, relaxing and releasing into the mat as you breathe out. Breathing in. Cross your shoulders and into your left shoulder and the top of your arm. Breathing in down your upper arm, into your elbow, forearm and wrist. Becoming aware of the palm of your left hand. Keep breathing in and breathing out. Breathing into your left thumb, forefinger middle finger, ring finger and pinky. Keep breathing in and breathing out the whole of your left arm. Becoming aware of where your head meets you at the top of your spine at your neck and feeling any change in there. Breathing in and relaxing your head into the mat. Breathing into your eyes, let your eyes relax and sink down into the head. Breathing in and breathing out. Becoming aware of any tension in your jaw, your right jaw, your left jaw. Let your tongue touch the roof of your mouth and relax. All of your face, your scalp, all the little muscles in your scalp relaxing as you breathe out. Your whole body relaxing and releasing into the floor. You're breathing in and breathing.
देख रहे हैं becoming aware of yourself in the room and in a moment we're all going to roll on to our right side and come to a seated position and we're going to take three big deep breaths together so just taking your time Breathe in, open up, and breathe in, breathe in, and breathe in, and one more, breathing in, and breathing out. Thank you very much.